Gary Land, Colby Pierce, El Paso County Raceway, it's hammer time! Out here today at El Paso County Raceway with the 43 machine, Mr. Ryan Order. Talking to him a little bit about some of the racing and stuff they're doing up at Belleville. Are you going to be racing up at Belleville this year, or are you just doing some of the, the pro promotion works and stuff on the, the, the I guess you could say, business no, side? No, I'm, I'm actually going to be racing. We are taking nine midgets from our family up there. We'll be racing Friday night at Concordia, Kansas, and then Saturday and Sunday at the High Banks in Belleville. You guys went out there and won that last year, didn't you? Uh, we did win in the 305 Nationals yep. with Adam Trimble driving the sprint car, but this was going to be a midget show, so okay. this is the first time midgets have been back to Belleville since, uh, since Belleville Midget Nationals stopped. Okay. Been a while then. And taking nine cars out there, how much work and how much effort is that taking on your guys' team to get nine cars ready to haul it, all the way out there and get that it, show done? It, it takes a lot of work, and we just left Garden City, Kansas last oh, week man. for a two-day show. Um, I'm here tonight with the sprint car, um, and I'm going to be leaving on Tuesday because our 305 wing car is going in the Belleville Hall of Fame and Museum. So okay. I got to go out a little yeah. earlier than the family. So so what? They got a big, I'm sure, a couple like a week long thing and festivities and everything for that Hall of Fame ceremony that they got out there. Yeah, yeah. They uh, they generally have like a a dinner and whatnot, but they've only asked me to bring our car for the fact that it won the nationals yeah. last year, and they know I'm going to be in town twice in one month. So. And that was the same car that we saw flip like five times here at El Paso, right, nope, last nope. year? No, that, it wasn't. That car, oh. was, that car I, was completely I figured, destroyed. I, I figured, but I heard rumors circulating that it was the same car, and I was like, there's no, no that, way that it is. That car was completely okay. destroyed, I think. That's what I figured. We saved the steering gear and two wheels on it. <laughs> oh, Everything man. else, engine included, was destroyed. Ready for tonight? We are ready for tonight. How's the track looking, in your opinion? Uh, looking good. I'm hoping it stays kind of tacky because we came out here with a uh, X World of Outlaw 410 engine in our car. Oh yeah. So if it stays tacky and I can put down some horsepower, you'll probably see the 43 pulling some pretty big wheelies. Yes, sir. Look out for the 43, Mr. Ryan Order. All probably right. going to be running top five tonight, guys, here at El Paso County Raceway. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Ryan. And he's got that thing glued to the ground, and here comes Ryan Order. Uh oh, look out for Ryan. The 43 is passed up the 3J. It's all back. He's up in the third. Looking for more, trying to get past Pierre Land now. Pierce running away from everybody. The 92 with another great start as we got a battle for third between Ryan Order and Joel Mellon. Right behind the 55 of Gary Land. He's going to hold on to that second spot for Tier Land. Land has been fighting off a lot of good racers, and so far he's holding on to second, but he's not going to be able to reel in Kobe Pierce tonight, I don't think. Kobe in that 92 has got it grooved as you see Ryan Orr coming sideways out of the corner. Out here at El Paso County Raceway, going to do a little vendor profile with you guys. I'm here with Bob from Sprint Stuff. He's out here selling all of the sprint car novelties and t-shirts and everything. Just tell us a little about your store, Bob, and what you kind of make and what you do with all the sprint stuff here. So we do the track shirts for Calhan. We also do the BS t-shirts. We have them in t-shirts. We have them in uh, sweatshirts. And uh, we also have my own sprint car design that I've had for eight years now going on. And they're glow in the darks. Oh, that's oh, glow Front in the darks. Print, that's real cool. Back pin. And then we do die cast. And I also do special die cast in the back. Um, of basically anybody's car you want, okay. so modified, dwarfs, sprint cars, anybody. Anybody racing can come out and get their car yeah. die cast for you. And I see you have a bunch of uh, custom made signs as well. You guys do a bunch of custom signs and cutting yeah, as well, so right? These are all these are all custom, um, and I do anybody you want. Dwarf cars, sprint cars, non-wing, wing, modified, those are all hand painted. Hand painted. So first name, last name, and the uh, number of the way it is on the car. Awesome. Anything else anybody you'd like to thank? Anybody that's helped you out through the years? Or it's just you here, out here well, roughing Tyler, it around? <laughs> but yeah, it's always, I mean, it's its always easier with two. Oh, always. Now, you only come to El Paso, right? You don't travel no, to No, we any... do El Paso. We do um, I-76. Uh, every once in a while, Holyoke, if he gets me to come up there. 
And then also uh, we do the Knoxville Nationals, which is coming up. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. A huge one. So you don't even have to just come to El Paso to catch Mr. Bob and the Sprint Stuff guy. They got them all. So do you only sell just El Paso County Raceway T-shirts and gear? Or do you have T-shirts for the I-76 no, I, Speedways I've got, as well? Well, this year I-76 is doing their own thing as far okay. as is their T-shirts. Um, last year we did, but this year we're just doing the BST one. Okay, that way just it BST covers stuff. all the tracks. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, Bob. Good you luck betcha. tonight. Hopefully, we get some people coming down here and buying some more of that you stuff bet. from you. He's got all kinds of great stuff, guys. Come. Once it starts getting cold, you know where to find me. Yeah, he's right down here on the south side of the grandstands, everybody. Bob with Sprint Stuff. Thank you very thank much, you sir. the cars they got tangled up together down the front stretch Mr. Kelly Russell. Hedges 
with another good start. Jacob Worthington right behind him, though, painted on his bumper. Brianna's in there working with the T21 of Trumbull. They're fighting for that third spot. Brianna's going to get the edge down the back straight there. The 58 cars up into third. Hedge is still your leader. Followed by Jacob Worthington, then Brianna. T21 of Trumbo and Amanda McDonald run out your top five with Leanne O'Lear sitting in that outside end spot in the sixth position right now. Edges! 